to speak. So, it's time. It is time. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Hmm. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. Aww. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. Now, I feel like this is a thing that you really should have prepared her for. This is the kind of thing that you teach someone, like, when they first say, like, as a kid, yeah, I want to do the proving. You kind of should prepare them for that in the future. For people wondering, by the way, because I remember proving. watching that for the first time, I thought After Ross that. was being very callous. The reason why he's being so callous is because he's so honour-bound. Like, he's a very, very, very lawful man. And you know how Elio was just saying about how she'd break the law, not him? He's so honourable to the law and to tradition that he won't allow her to break the law either. That's why he seems a bit, uh, you know, like, a bit callous. I'll see where his it's respectful. Or respectable, excuse me. Although a bit dickish. <laughs> yeah, it's a lawful good boy. It's a very good boy. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. He's got crazy eyes. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. I love her. She's cool. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. <laughs> oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. <laughs> can you imagine we'll how overwhelmed we just will be for her? Protect. What is going on? <laughs> Not just casually living in an exile your entire life, but it just suddenly all of this is going on all at the same time. Like, imagine how loud all the sounds and stuff for her is as well. Aloy! It's... It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? 
Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. And he got yanked away because he's, he's not allowed to talk day. to outcasts. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long over I've always day. wondered Damn. how the outfit fits to Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. I saw previous well, yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Boy, I'm wearing like high tech Every stuff. It offers some advantage. It's always a trade off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about. Envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> that's all. Right, did I... Do I sell my armor on? Okay, I do. Good. In fact, I think I might have even sold his... Um... Oh, no, no, that's the one. Nora Brave. So that's, this is the one that he gave me, uh, which you can see in the bottom right hand corner. But screw it up now, I'm wearing my shield weaver. Yeah. Amazing high tech. Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? <laughs> Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What I want is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want! Yeah, I will! <laughs> Who's the climber? Who's the best climber? Jark. And he's a brave as well. Like when he talks, you can see it. Nora brave. It's not my name. So he's one of the people that is guarding the entire city. You know the one with. But you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning. Also, the boys—they don't actually have the technology at all. What they have is ruins and scraps. Aloy, over here. Oh, hello. Karst, what are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never He's met. the vendor who is not supposed to talk to outcasts, but he does anyway. He's the one who we would have gotten a trip cast from and how generous if we didn't already have talk it. To me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Nah, fam, but I will vendor. All I'd sell sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Right, let me just quickly uh, <laughs> sell that, sell that. Just basically sell the duplicates. If I have any duplicates. So that one, that one, that one. Actually, yeah, I don't even know if I need that. I'm, uh, by the way, I'm sure Clara can drag your notice of the warm socks. I'm keeping that because Kev told me to. That's the exclusive reason why. <laughs> Kev told me to keep that. Let's sell that. Oh, is that? That's bony meat. Okay. Get rid of some wires, get rid of that, and just vendor all that. And modifications? Let's get rid of the green ones. At some point, I'll do like a big um, thorough clear, but for now, I'm just getting rid of the green ones. See you later, Karst. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first. We have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. 
These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Avar. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold the... your fruit, nor... I like him. Uh, nor He's faithful. great. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. <laughs> he was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. He has no eyebrows. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please i love that character he's got one of the most uh, one of the probably the biggest personalities in the game i, I agree cleric <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad 14th mm. of the radiant line <clears throat> And she's like, ooh, glowy ears. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just getting just stuck to towards side. you. Like mine. <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me talk. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I just read out something. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, <laughs> yeah, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Uh, let me see. Nice armor, that is... I don't actually remember that being insignificant. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this What, what track he said? She worded it better. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? <laughs> he gets humbled later on, don't worry. He's definitely acting like a big shot now, but it gets better. Uh, right, where am I going? Down here. It's really great seeing a lot of this with extra context. It's really good. I'm just just gonna say that. A lot more happens. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Aww. Thanks, Grandma. 
blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost, and all he did to help me get here. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. So cheesy, but really cool. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Alright, mate. Toad's not a suspicious Hello. bloke at all. Hello, Let's come have a chat. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? <laughs> Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. Alright, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Uh, the focus- I'm gonna go for who are you. The focus, basically all he says is that he gets a focus from the ruins. That's it. He's very, very, um, vague. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. Oh, I have to ask both of them. Okay. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. <laughs> You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. Um, for the pair of these, he just goes on, like, he's very, very stubborn. He just keeps on saying that he doesn't want to know her. He's got enough friends. He doesn't care. Tells her, go do something else. Again, it's like extremely deflective. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should try to enjoy yourself tonight. <laughs> Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Carja took my little sister in their aids five years ago. All mother her eyes shirt. I'm not gonna say anything, but that 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 adds context. <laughs> He's sus, he's so so sus. <laughs> he's so he is extremely sus. It does, Drake. This is, this is great playing it a second time. I'm loving this. This guy is an absolute raging prick. I hate him. Motherless chuff. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh. 
this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. Can't see it. Covered in armor. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Do I have to talk to him? I do. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. He is the product of shitty parenting. The only reason he hates her is because his, um, his teacher, I get maybe not parenting, but his teacher was like, nah, 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 you can't talk to outcasts. Remember, but he is a product of just elders being shitty racists. I guess racist isn't really the right term here, but it's kind of it's kind of sad though, isn't it, to see? Um, you're afraid. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. <laughs> you know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. Oh, I You'll hate be the one surprised tomorrow, themselves. outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> uh, as I was going to say, I hate people that refer to themselves in the third person. I'm time for Bass to get some sleep. Shut the fuck up. Nice job handling Bast. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bast, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Cheers, fam. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. <laughs> Not bad. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. 